Hello everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to create the average line in your clustered column graph. So let's get started. Alright, the first thing you need to do is to create an extra column in your table called average. And in this column you can you need to input the average values. And to do that I will use the average function. And I have another video on my channel explaining you how to use this function. I'll press F4 to block the range. Then I'll copy and paste the values. Now we need to add this information into our chart. To do that, right click over the chart area and click on select data. Add new series. Series name will be average. Series value will be the range we just created. Okay, and okay, okay. Notice that Excel is using the clustered column uh, chart type as this turned to the average series. We need to switch that from this to line. And to do that, right click over the chart area and click on change chart type. This last option called combo will allow you to change the chart type for each series. In our case, Excel is already recommending the line chart for the average function, for the average series. If it was not here, you can select the chart that you, the chart type that you want in this arrow just besides the, the name. So it's line already, I'll click OK. Now we want to change the line type for a more dashed one. Personally, I prefer, I don't like solid lines for the average value, so right click over the series and select format data series. And here in this bucket called the field line, under the dash type, I'll select the third option called square dot. Perfect. Now we want to add the label for the annual average. Let's say we think it is important to know the average uh, value for the year. But if you right click over the series and select add data label, Excel will add the data label for each month. And we don't want that. Solve this problem after you select the series, the average series. Select again, click again on the dot that you want the value to be added. I like to add it in the last one. And then notice that now we have only this dot select. And then right click over it and select add data, add data label. However, our label is in the middle of the line, it's in the top of the bar, it's not very clear. To change the position, right click over the label and select format data labels and switch the label position from right to above under this menu called the label positions. So close. However, personally, I like to make an, an extra space in the chart if it is possible just for the average uh, value because let's say we have a taller bar here, this position will, will still be a little awkward. And to do that, it's very simple. We just need to add an extra line in the average series. And then we need it again to select the data for the average series because now we have one extra line. And Excel will create this space automatically. And then I create the label for this position. And then I will change the color and make it a little bit bigger and maybe even bold. Okay, in here we have our average line and you can hide this column. However, when you hide this column, notice that the average line disappears. To solve this problem, right click over the chart area and click on select data and click the in on this option, reading and empty cells, and select this option here, show data in hidden rows and columns, and the problem is solved. So this was our today's video, I hope you like it, I hope it was helpful for you. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, if you have any comments, suggestions or any questions, put it down in the comment section so I can read it and work on that. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.